it's Rachel welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome today I am doing my boutique beauty box unboxing and mask maven review Now, if you're new to my channel and you've never heard of Boutique, it is a Korean subscription service where you get either a box full of six full-size skincare and beauty products every month, or you get nine masks sent to you every month. And this is sent to me for review, but I am giving my 100% honest opinion. I definitely don't hold back if I don't like a product. And if you guys are interested in signing up, you can use the code RACHEL25 for 25% off your first month. Let's just jump right into the beauty box unboxing. These are all six products for the month of June. And the theme for the month of June was plants, flowers, herbs, and fruits. They say that adding these products to your beauty routine will help your skin blossom. I'm, I'm so ditzy. Uh, it says right here, the theme is botanical beauty. And here I am in reading the little blurb looking for the name of the theme. Like, duh, read the front. Anyway, the first item in the box is the... Chosunga Wonder Bath Super Veggie Tox Two Step Mask. It retails for $3. And the first step is a cleanser with exfoliating properties to remove impurities and exfoliate and nourish the skin. And the second step is a sheet mask which cleans and smooths with 10 green vegetable ingredients, leaving your face clear and radiant. So this one I think had aloe or soy, it had something in it. So I asked my roommate to try it. She did try it. She said it smelled really nice. The step one left her clean and fresh, but the mask was very moist, uh, like dripping wet, and she didn't enjoy that. She did feel radiant, but she was also like soaking wet afterwards, <laughs> and she would not do this again even for $3. The next item in the box is the cactus headband, which retails for $8. It is a cute and fun headband that is the perfect accessory for any skincare lover. It will hold your hair in place and out of the way when you cleanse your face or even help you apply makeup in the morning. This is what it looks like. It is one of those plush headbands that's uh, like elastic at the bottom so it's pretty adjustable to whatever size head you have. And at the top it just has this cactus sitting on top of the pink. Now, you might think I might not like this because it's pretty much pink, but the cactus is green. And that makes this preen, so I love it. And it's, it's really comfortable. I love these plush headbands, plus they don't leave a mark in your hair when you take it out. So, like, I wore this while doing this makeup look, and there is no headband mark in my hair at all. So... I definitely would get this again for $8. The next item is the Sky Lake Oriental Herb Cleansing Powder. It retails for $15 and is a gentle facial exfoliator that helps remove dead skin cells, fine lines, pores, and impurities, leaving the skin more radiant. Packed in individual containers, it contains elastic brightening. Cleansing powders is perfect for on the go. These have two different types in here. Um, they have the Scotillaria and the Cyndium powders, and I think they both smell awful. They both smell like, like bad curry. Like I'm putting bad Indian food on my face when I'm using these. And they're really gritty, and if you don't like a physical exfoliant, if that's too harsh for you, then you probably won't enjoy these. I found them a little bit harsh for my sensitive skin. And I found that they did really strip my skin. Like, my skin felt that, like, like, you know that feeling, that, like, squeaky clean feeling, but it's, like, stripped of all oils and everything is what it felt like. I do not recommend these at all, especially for the price of $15. I, I think they 
overdid it and were a little bit too harsh for my skin. Maybe if you have oily skin, these would be good, but definitely not if you have drier, more sensitive skin. Next, we have the Organic Farm Rose Water Skin Pad. Retails for $10, and it is a tub of pads that soothe irritation, reduce redness, anti-age, and enhance your mood and will leave you looking flawless and amazing. I've only used these a couple of times just because I have, from all of the products this month, been getting like texture and breakouts all over my face, so I'm not sure what's causing it and I'm trying not to make my skin even worse. Um, but they do smell strongly so strongly of roses and I think this may be one of the things that irritated my skin because I am sensitive to fragrance and I have been getting like texture and hivey and that's something that definitely happens when I have fragrance on my skin. So if you have any sort of fragrance sensitivity I would definitely stay away from these. They did feel nice, but then like the next day my skin had freaked out and I, I had been testing several products so I can't 100% pinpoint it to this, but because of the strong fragrance I really, I really don't think it helps at all. So I would not purchase this again for $10 and Again, if you have any sensitivity to fragrance or to like rose or floral ingredients, I'd skip out on this one. Next we have the On The Body Sweet Love Body Lotion. It retails for $12 and it is a sweet smelling body lotion made from natural ingredients like shea butter to keep the skin hydrated and not oily. And it's great for all skin types and ages. Because this was a fragranced lotion, I had Stephanie test this out for me. And she sh said it works great, it smells good, it's very moisturizing. She would definitely get it again. And although she said it was a very feminine fragrance, so if if you wanted to smell more like gender neutral or masculine you might want to stay away she did enjoy it and she would get it again the last item in the box is the skylake natural moisture lip balm it retails for eight dollars and is a lip balm that gives intense moisture and hydration to dry lips it's made with shea butter herbal extracts and propolis extract and it has everything you need for hydrated lips all day long this one had beeswax high up on the ingredient list so again I asked Stephanie to test this for me she said it was very lubricating very long lasting like she didn't have to reapply it all the time and the one con that made her say she wouldn't go for it again was that it had a very sappy piney smell and taste to it it was like I think she compared it to like a evergreen air freshener so I can see how that would not be enjoyable and overall for the month of June was it worth it well there were only two recommends or repurchases out of the whole six items so I I think unfortunately June was a fail although it was still fun to test them all out like my skin is hating me right now and Stephanie didn't exactly love all of the stuff so hopefully July will be better but let's move on to the mask maven these are all nine masks for the month of June again the theme is botanical beauty and I had help testing these out as well because a lot of them I wasn't able to use um, I did use some I shouldn't have but you know nine masks is a lot to get through so I I, I feel like I should stop trying to use the ones and just give them away in a giveaway maybe that would be a better idea let me know in the comments down below if you think if the ones that like my roommates can't test and I shouldn't test if I should just do a giveaway at the end of these um, unboxing videos for those masks. 
how many times can I say let me know? Let me just move on to the first mask. The first mask is the NJ Care BSC Orchid Essence Mask. It is a hydrating mask that contains all the amazing benefits of orchids. Orchid oil brings moisture and boosts immunity. And the botanical stem cell mask will reduce fine lines and leave your skin smooth all day long. I tried this one and I felt it slightly reduced my fine lines, but even though all the ingredients... Oh wait, no, it had aloe in it. I was like, all the ingredients are safe. No, this was one I shouldn't have done. It left me very itchy and I got a breakout down under here after. I would not do this one again. <laughs> um, the reduction in my fine lines was so minimal that like I wouldn't even recommend it to someone who's not sensitive to aloe because there are masks that I've tried that do much more for your fine lines. So this one was a pass. The next mask is the Yeon Everyday Natural Care Aloe Mask. It contains antioxidants, enzymes, vitamin A and C, which calm and soothe irritated and sensitive skin, leaving it hydrated and smooth. Stephanie used this one and she said it smelled really nice, it was really moisturizing, not too wet and she would definitely do it again. Next we have the It's Skin Carrot Mask. It's a brightening mask formulated with fresh and natural carrot extract to provide your skin with a natural glow and bring life back to dull skin for a brighter complexion. I really liked this mask. I felt that it was brightening, soothing, and it helped clear my skin a little bit. I would definitely do this one again. The next mask is the Farmstay Real Essence Mango Mask. It... <sighs> is made with mango extract that will condition skin, leaving it fresh and revitalized. I was so excited to do this one. I love mango and I love fruit masks and it was a big letdown. I was very red and irritated and sticky. I do not recommend this mask at all. Next we have the Esfolio Pure Skin Herb Essence Mask. It contains six kinds of botanical extracts which help to calm and hydrate your skin. The treatment will leave you with moisturized and silky smooth complexion. I thought this one was so hydrating and very, very soothing. I would definitely go for this again. The next mask is the No HJ Skinamine Chamomile Mask. It features chamomile which provides moisture to dry skin and is made from tensile fabric which helps the serum fully absorb into the skin and provide intense moisture. This mask was one of those like foil printed masks where it had like a foil floral pattern on it and it was so so pretty and it was very hydrating and definitely brightening. I did not leave it on the full 20 minutes because it did have, I think, aloe in it, so I didn't want to, like, full-on irritate my skin, but I did notice a difference, and I definitely would go for this one again. Next, we have the Esfolio Pure Skin Snail Essence Mask. It soothes sensitive skin, leaving it more radiant, and enhances the skin elasticity, leaving it soft and smooth to the touch. It will also purify pores while providing intense hydration. I tried this one and I felt it reduced my pores, the fine lines were smooth, and it was very hydrating. I just got confused. Stephanie and I have similar handwriting and I was like reading some of these as if I had done them when she had done them. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, I really like this one and I think I think the one I got confused on was this one she really liked and it was her handwriting on the notes. So Stephanie recommends this one, but I definitely like this one and would do it again. The next mask is the Nature Republic Rose Moisture Mask. It brings intense moisture which will revitalize the skin and reduce redness and th soothe irritated skin and I tried this one on the plane home from Columbus I don't know if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram but I did post a little bit about how I went to Columbus Ohio uh, in the month of July and I thought it would be a good idea because planes really dry me out to bring a mask to do on the plane and I felt this one was so moisturizing and refreshing. I really enjoyed it. I'm so glad I brought it on the plane and yeah, can't recommend it enough. Finally, we have the Etude House 
2.2 millimeter therapy air mask. It is only two millimeters thick and hypoallergenic, which is great for sensitive skin and is formulated only with EWG green grade ingredients. It brings powerful moisturizing ingredients to refresh your skin. Now you could get this in various styles. I got the Cherry Blossom Firming and Brightening Mask. And when I went to Columbus, I was meeting somebody. I was meeting my boyfriend and um, he tried this mask for me. And he said that it really increased his elasticity. He was like blown away by that. It was super refreshing. It reduced the appearance of his pores. And he like took a picture of this mask and said, I'm gonna go home and buy 10 of these. So this is a definite recommend. Overall, for the month of June, I believe the Mask Maven was definitely worth it. Seven out of the nine masks are recommended repurchases where only two are not. And again, if you are interested in either subscription service, you can take 25% off your first month with the code that completes this video but just for a little fun please let us know in the comments down below what your favorite skincare product was for the month of july and also your skin type so we know what type of skin that product is best suited for thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you've not already and i will see you guys next time bye